I've mentioned several times that software is the same across multiple redundant units and that this can be an issue. An example of how this can go wrong is the Ariane 5 Flight 501 failure. The Ariane 5 is a heavy lift unmanned rocket that reused some components from the previous generation Ariane 4 model. The first launch of the new Ariane 5 design was in June 1996, and it had a $400 million payload that was supposed to go into orbit. You can see the rocket on the pad, you can see it launching, and you can see it in mid-flight. Note that in order to achieve orbit, the rocket tilts over and develops significant horizontal velocity on its way to orbit. This turned out to be a problem. The Arian 5 was designed with a primary backup pattern for its internal navigation system. So there's a primary system, and if the primary system should fail, a hot standby backup would take over. This design was reused from the Ariane 4 rocket so that they would not have to redo the safety certification. But there was a problem that the Ariane 5 got a high horizontal velocity more quickly than the Ariane 4. Inside the initial navigation system was a function that was not even necessary for the Ariane 5, but was left in place so that they wouldn't have to change the inertial navigation system. This computation took a 64-bit floating point number and converted it to a 16-bit integer. What happened in the Ariane 5 launch was that the standby system did the 64 to 16-bit conversion and had an overflow because of the high horizontal velocity at that point in flight. The fault model for this system was that hardware could fail, but software was considered to be perfect. So when the hot standby saw this overflow, it determined that could only be to a hardware failure and it shut itself down, and the primary system continued operation. The problem is that the primary system was in the same rocket, so it was seeing a high horizontal velocity. And sure enough, the primary system also saw the overflow and shut down. So now we had a primary standby system where the standby had gone bad, the primary didn't realize it, and then when the primary shut down thinking there was a standby, there was nothing left to steer the rocket. At that point, you had a rocket in flight with no guidance, and the only thing you could do would be to destroy it. So that's what they did. This story points out that it's always important to consider that if you have two copies of the same software, that's a single point of failure for your system, because redundant software, given the same inputs, tends to fail the same way.